so they're doing that too. Um, I uh, put a book out for this display because it's my only copy, but it's a new book that's uh, trying to help people to think differently. If you take a look at all of our technology, it's just a hand-me-down from the military. So our technology is not being designed within the civilian society for civilian good. They just, uh, all the research money goes to the military and they get a spin-off from it for the civilian use. So this book is critical thinking of what we need as a civilian population to live on the planet Earth and stop taking hand-me-downs from the military research, which is all our pesticides, all our nuclear industry, uh, you know, all those are hand-me-downs from the military. So we're a very dependent society on the research done for, for the purpose of killing. So we're, you know, depending on death uh, research. Now there was, uh, in response to a lot of this, there were congressional hearings and United Nations environmental ban, but as I say, they're not effective because all you have to do is say your purpose is, um, you know, some good. You want the wheat to grow better or whatever. You, you do all these things. Now, I wanted to uh, show you what's happening with earthquakes. It's not the very biggest earthquakes that are the worst. It's the ones from uh, point from six to seven on the Richter scale. You now those are a factor, so a factor of ten between eight. So a six, a seven is ten times as big as a six, and an eight is ten times as big as a seven. If you look at the first half of the uh, 20th century. We were having about 24 a year, and that jumped after 1950 to 72 a year. Uh, and the, between 6.5 and 7, we were having 22 a year, and it jumped to 37 a year. Now, I'm sure some of that is due to underground nuclear testing, but some is also due to the manipulation of the Earth uh, by these Earth experiments which they're doing without telling us, with nobody's permission. Uh, our society turns a blind eye to what the military is doing. We kind of, anytime you read an environmental problem and the solution and what you should do, note everything's in the civilian economy. Nobody says, what's the military doing? I didn't see one thing after that blackout. I read every article I could get my hands on, including the Internet, and I didn't see one of them that asked what the military was doing. You know, it was all some poor guy in Ohio who didn't act quickly enough. Okay? Uh, you know, read, read with your head. <laughs> turn, turn on the lights and, and see what's really being said. Uh, we're, we're only one society on the planet. We can't allow the military to do anything they want with the life support system with no oversight uh, and no, uh, and people don't even know what's happening. The biggest lesson is uh, we have to learn to share this planet. Dominating the planet is not an option because if everybody tries to dominate it, we've lost it. We destroy it. And we're well on our way to destroying it, but we had better learn to share quickly. And I want to talk this afternoon more about the people on the earth and what's happening to the people uh, because I think that how you define your problems gives you about 50% of the way to solving them. And if we define our problems always uh, wrongly, all of our solutions are going to be wrong. And so I want to talk about the people. These are our brothers and sisters with whom we share this perfectly marvelous planet. Okay, so that's, that's all for now.